floor to the observer of the International Institute for Democracy and Electoral Assistance. Thank you, Madam President, distinguished representatives. On behalf of International IDEA, I would like to express our thanks and appreciation to Special Envoy Nolene Hazer for her informative briefing and her continuous efforts to navigate the challenges of her mandate. We also want to take the opportunity to express our thanks to all member states who have been working towards the implementation of past resolutions aiming at ending the suffering of the people of Myanmar, including the community of the Rohingya Muslims and other minorities, exacerbated since the unconstitutional military coup in February last year. We acknowledge the significant progress made by the interim institutions formed on the basis of the legitimate and internationally recognized elections of November 2020 to forge a broad consensus among a variety of stakeholders to rebuild the country as a federal democratic union. In particular, the Federal Democracy Charter adopted by a wide coalition of representatives provides hope in this regard. The Charter envisages the formation of a genuinely democratic federal system with fully civilian governance, firmly based on commitments to human rights, the rule of law, as well as inclusion and non-discrimination. The explicit commitments of the National Unity Government on the full reintegration of the Rohingya, referred to by the distinguished representative of Myanmar earlier, is equally encouraging. It is quite clear that the suffering of the Rohingya community will only end with the restoration of genuine democracy and peace based on justice in Myanmar. Helping and protecting the Rohingya therefore implies support to the restoration of democracy and legitimate representative government. Madam President, the elections in 2020 were legitimate but had a number of shortcomings. Among these, the large-scale exclusion of Rohingya from citizenship and therefore their right to vote is perhaps the most significant. It is therefore essential that any future elections or referendums organized by the legitimate authorities must provide for the Rohingya to participate fully. In close partnership with the United Nations, International IDEA will continue to support the restoration of democracy in Myanmar and calls upon member states to do the same. Lasting peace and stability will only return to Myanmar once fully representative, effective and accountable institutions will be restored. I thank you. I thank the observer of international idea.